Hey gang, it's Jay, and I am getting ready to, um, the next bush class lesson is the twig fire. Twig fire is all about just finding natural materials, um, twigs, branches, anything from pencil size or pencil lead size, really, um, really thin stuff up to pencil size. and then up to thumb size. So easy stuff to find, whether it's on the ground or in trees, uh, dead trees, branches, bushes, whatnot. Um, but it's a real simple, easy way for getting a fire going really quick um, without having to do a whole lot of prep. Um, if you look here, my prep work is pretty, um, pretty simple. Just I have my pencil size or my pencil lead size, pencil size, and thumb size, and then I have a larger pile for sustainment. Um, I just added that to it. But definitely one of the things that, and I find being a, a um, cub leader or scout leader, is kids know how to make a fire, but their prep really stinks. So I'm hoping to use this lesson as a way for helping me teach my kids the better way for doing fire prep um, and hopefully they learn something from it and they can carry it on so let's get started so as you can see here I have my I have a pile of shavings I have a piece of bark for keeping the um, for keeping the beginning of the fire up off the wet ground that way it doesn't snuff itself out from the moisture there and then I have a back block for supporting the fire so that it doesn't collapse down on top of my my um my shavings or my fire starter and end up putting it out i'm just no ferro rod action here no flint or steel i'm just using a simple match and we'll get started right, it doesn't take a whole lot to really start getting this ready to go. There I'm just laying my pencil size pieces over top of my fire. Hoping that those are nice and dry. Notice how you're, you're maintaining that airflow underneath. Then on top of that I'm gonna go crisscross criss with my pencil size pieces. Lots of airflow getting underneath, which is doing a good job. There's stuff already catching. You can hear the crackling of it. Then, while that's going, we're going to go ahead and add our thumb size material on top of that. And we should have ourselves a twig fire. You can hear some of the sizzling from some of the wood. So obviously there's a few wet pieces in there. I think some of that's the pine actually that I collected. The goal here is to get to knee height. Um, definitely knee height already on the flame. So I think I'm good to go with that. Starting to drop down a little bit as the pencil lead size material gets going but we have a fire pretty simple pretty standard not much to it and the great thing about all that prep work there now that we have our fire going here if you look back at what I still have say hello to the dog he's destroying my prep pile there um, I still have enough enough wood left over for getting at least another fire going, maybe a third fire if this guy didn't tear a bunch of it apart there. But um, that's it, gang. So we have ourselves a nice rip-roaring fire, and I think the twig fire segment is completed. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, 
We'll catch up later. Thanks.